These slant brakes that come with your AK-47 are basically just a thread protector. They suck. This Griffin Armament flash comp is sick. Today on the bench, we're gonna be looking at the flash comp from Griffin Armament. Griffin Armament makes a number of products. They make muzzle devices, offset sights, suppressors, um, and some sight and scope mounting options for ARs, AKs, bolt action rifles, that sort of thing. Today, specifically, we'll be looking at the flash comp for the AK-47 with a thread pitch in 14 by one left hand. Let's take a closer look at this thing and see what makes it so great. This Griffin Armament flash comp comes loaded with features. As you can see, they have their laser engraved logo right there on the comp. It is a three prong flash hider and a compensator. The overall length of this device is 2.25 inches, which is great if you're doing a 14 and a half inch build and you need to get to that 16 inches for a pin and weld. It actually comes with the hole pre-drilled for a pin, and then you just put a spot of weld over top of it. Griffin Armament makes a QD blast shield that interfaces directly to the flash comp. So for those times when you don't want to have a lot of concussion coming off the end of your rifle, to the left or to the right, if you got buddies shooting next to you or you're in a stack, the QD blast shield that interfaces right to the device will really cut down on all that concussion. With the flash comp installed, this AK-47 definitely shot much flatter than it did with a typical slant break, which is no surprise to anyone. And also in comparison with some of the other uh, muzzle devices that I've shot on the end of AK-47s, this is, I'd have to rank in the top three. Get a close up on this little piggy. Guys, this is a real versatile muzzle device for the end of your rifle. Whether it's 556, 308, 762 by 39, it's gonna cover a lot of your bases. Flash suppression, compensation, what's not to like? If any of you have any questions about Griffin Armament, please leave them in the comments below. Please like and share this video. Thank you for tuning into this episode of The Bench, and we'll see you next time.